Hi ladies, this is Nicola Lisa, transformational love coach for women who are ready to open up and attract an amazing top quality relationship with a high caliber man, a man that is the right fit and match for them. Now today I want to share with you a really key interesting concept and it has to do with how open are you really to attract the top quality man and relationship that you're looking for. And I'm gonna give you a really powerful tip to really guide you, to give you awareness so that you can start to open up and be willing to do the work that is required. So one of the biggest things that I'm always addressing with my community is the understanding that love comes to women that are aligned for it. And it doesn't just happen, right? Because we haven't been taught a lot about how to attract top quality love in our lives. And basically, maybe we've seen so many people just randomly attract it that we sometimes assume love is just going to come to me. Now, but under deeper energetics of things, I want you to really understand that it comes to the person that is aligned and open for it. So... If you are not aligned or open to the type of love that you want, you keep attracting love that is unsatisfying to you. It's not, it's not satisfying at all. And you can get frustrated and you can develop different defense mechanisms that further keep you away from the love that you want. Because we haven't really been shown a map, right? We can feel confused. But I really want to clarify things for you so that you can really open up and let the type of man and relationship that you so desire to come to you. Now, how do you do that? It so happens that, that I tend to work with a lot of women who are so successful, like in like so many different areas of her life, right? Like in her health, in her career, or her business. She has amazing friendships. For some reason, love has not been really clicking, or it hasn't really manifested at the level that she wants. She's either attracted men that are emotionally unavailable, men that who uh, only want sex, men who betray her or who don't choose her. And that can make her spin somewhat, right? And I just want to really give you hope. So today we're going to talk about how to really open up. Because the feminine, feminine energy is not just about being in your body and leaning back. It's, it's about so many different layers and levels. We are an energy of movement, of flow, of magic. We are powerful beyond measure. We want to really understand our ebbs and flows or different types of energies, um, levels, layers, etc. And one of the key elements of feminine energy is her connection. You know, how connected is she with life? When the women, when women or feminine energy shut down or start to operate from this energy of like just doing things by themselves. We start to really disconnect and we become, you know, the phrase how, you know, we, we're always talking about being an independent woman. And I, and I believe that really doing things by yourself and demonstrating to yourself that you can do it is a great thing. Now, one of the things that I see is that as an independent woman, when you hold on too much to that identity, and I really want to clarify this, is when you start to hold on too much to that identity, you carry with you so many different beliefs that come attached to it. And these beliefs are uniquely to you in many ways. Um, and I, I want to clarify that when you hold on too much to the identity uh, and it's in fear and you're not believing that you can have love from there or that um, men nowadays are not going to be able to handle you or like deal with you or just be with you, then you're holding on to fear and separation from your ego in a way, right? Yes, you might have noticed that coming up to where you are right now. And there comes a moment where you need to start to open up and really open up so that you can move not only from, from independence to interdependence, where you can be open, you can be vulnerable, you can let yourself attract what you want, okay? So because we haven't really um, been taught what sort of work we are meant to do when it comes to love, I notice that the ego can bring up a lot of resistance in regards to the process. Uh, let's say that you had to do like an emotional release process 
and you start to get upset. You're like, oh, but why should I do this if other women do this um, and they just go out and meet a guy? Why should I do this? And you start to get angry or you start getting frustrated and shut down, withdrawn, et cetera, and you are in resistance to what you need to do, what this actually shows is a lack of openness, right? A, where, a, a, an area in your life where you are not truly open to be guided by the universe, to have an open and receptive uh, relationship with the universe, right? So I've really seen that whatever you resist will persist. And if you are, or whatever you focus on expands, so if you are in resistance and you're not willing or open or resistance is just like the process of what you need to do, you are in effect getting in the way of attracting the love that you want. So it's like an intimacy block with the universe. It shows to you why you could be attracting emotionally unavailable men, men who don't choose you, men who are intimidated by you because you haven't been willing to fully open up and trust the guidance that you're receiving from the universe. Uh, you might believe that, that it just might not work for you. But ladies, what I want you to understand is that this is a conversation that your ego is creating. And if you let your ego, which is the voice of fear and separation inside of your mind, your personality, get in the way of you having love, it's slowly, uh, leading you towards a path of like, it's not going to happen or I should settle or you know what? I'm just going to be alone. So I just want to really create this video right now for you to really uh, start to recognize the voice of your ego in a form of resistance by nature as feminine beings, we are meant to be open. I'm not saying be open to men that is not good for you. I'm first referring this to your openness with the universe to understand that the universe is in collaboration with you to attract love. So the moment you start attacking the universe, getting angry about the type of work that you need to do, assuming that you shouldn't do it or not being open um, to it, you're not letting yourself be guided or supported by the universe. So my recommendation for you is to really start being open with the universe to not make assumptions of what the universe is asking you to do to align yourself to have love, to align yourself to attract men that really see you and treat you right and who know your worth. You really want to treat your relationship with the universe from a state of openness. This is not airy fairy stuff. Like this is real stuff. The feminine energy is an energy that it's in relation to everything around her. How open, how, like, how uh, available are you first to the universe, your source? When you hold on to a point of view that says you will not have it, or you are in resistance to the masculine or to a specific belief, you are blocking the way for you to have love. So this tends to happen a lot of times for women um, who, who, like the universe is actually requiring them to learn how to trust, learn how to open up, right? And if you want to attract the man that you can trust, you must really start to work on the inside, like how you can learn to first trust the universe, how to open up, okay? So this is a huge piece. If you want to attract higher caliber relationships, with the masculine, you want to attract men who really see you, men that you can trust. You want to first ask yourself, how open are you really? Because if you're a meeting point of resistance or you're a meeting point of reaction when the universe is asking you to open up and to do something to manifest love is doubt or it's resistance or avoidance, then you know how much you are believing and the job here is for you to get out of your own way. How do you do this? You first want to remove all the assumptions that you're creating about the request that the universe is making of you. Okay. There, these are maybe assumptions of pain, assumptions of hurt from when you were a kid. And this is your ego in action, projecting the past into the future. And it's not letting you be present. It's not letting you see the actual love that is there in the request of the universe that is giving you your next steps. <clears throat> so please stay with this. I personally, what I've had to do in my own life is I've, I remember moments where life would tell me, the universe would tell me like, so open up and date this guy. 
And I was like, no way. Like, he's not, he's not, he's not going to be in alignment with me. Like I had this like know it all energy or I had this doubt or overwhelm, but thank God, you know, like that I learned how to trust the universe. So it's like, I know how to fall on order from the universe because I know that the universe knows better than me and better than my current point of view. It knows what I need in a moment. So I show up to the experience with an open heart, with a clarity of like, I'm, I'm ready to learn what I need to learn in this experience. When you're open, when you come from a place of openness, ladies, true change can occur. Now, as I said before, the feminine has many different um, layers and levels in regards to her openness. And I really recommend women to, uh, to really explore all of these areas um, and in a way that, that is really congruent, that is aligned, so that you can start to see results. Men can smell if a woman is really open or not. Like I'm talking about the top quality men. If you are in resistance, if you are in doubt to the, or in fear to the point that you do not see clearly or you're in avoidance and you do not see clearly what's in front of you, you can miss it right? So it is about us coming back to center, really reconnecting and opening up to the wisdom of the universe, to the wisdom within ourselves so that we can always flourish. We can always be open. It comes with many layers, ladies. So if this is resonating to you, I would love to know in the comments below what is clicking because this is really important. Um, when you have this energy, like I know this or I know the other without really connecting and you know, being in communication with the universe, you can miss your opportunity. You can miss an opportunity. And yes, the universe is going to keep on giving you opportunities. It's just a matter of one moment or another needing to come back and just fully deciding to be open. So ladies, if this is something that is interesting to you, if you want to know all the layers of the feminine and how you can really fully embody them from a place of your power so that you're cap, um, captivating, magnetic, and attracting of the, the high caliber of a man that you want in your life, then I invite you to sign up for Magnetic Self-Worth, which is my signature program where I take you through the, all the different layers of the feminine energy and opening up from a place of your power in a way that it's inviting and how to have true intimacy with a high caliber man in your life, the man that is the right fit for you. This is my signature program. I don't open it for the rest of the year. And it's a three month program where we're gonna go in deep. If you are in a place where you're like, you know what, my way isn't working anymore. And I really want love. Maybe I really want a family. And I just really wanna open up from a place of my power and um, my own magic. Then I invite you to sign up for this training. There are bonuses that are ending uh, today, actually. And if you're interested, I'm going to set up the link here so that you can connect with me to explore if it's the right fit for you. And I'm also going to set up the link for you to sign up. Ladies, I'm going to help you open up fully to love and let yourself have amazing love. It's, it's going to come up with not only coaching, but also energy release processes, emotional release processes, so that your heart is really open. Um, you are open in general so that your energy doesn't have like a closed off vibration or um, a controlling or fearful vibration, nothing that would, could get in the way, nothing that could have you doubt the power of love in your life and stop you from attracting and cultivating really top quality love. Ladies, I'm, I love you. I send you so much love. The links is going to be below and I am excited for you to just be open for this message and for your next level of breakthrough. Take care.